This is going on. My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 3rd, 2024, and welcome to the Rio GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And we have big breaking news a state of emergency declared in Northern Holy Land. And just looking at this once again. It's not looking good. I want to show you another one here. Look at this one, guys. Oof. Once again, um, a state of emergency has been declared in the North and Holy Land due to the nonstop and uncontrollable fire. We're going to see what's going on here, guys. We also have more breaking news. Uh, information is coming out. Let me pull up this... Uh, let me pull up this article here. If you can, please share this video. But, uh, yeah, we, it's not looking good right now, guys. All right, let me just uh, show you the title really quick. This is coming out from the AP uh, Associated Press. Uh, the latest, look at this, four more Holy Land innocents. Gone. And the palace is seek to join the you-know-what case. Guys, at this point, uh, I just... I don't like thinking this way, but uh, how long has it been? Eight months already? Uh, I just feel like those innocent ones that were taken eight months ago, I feel like that's it. Gone. Um, there hasn't been no agreement. I mean, no agreement. No cease. F-I-R-E. It's been eight months. Almost a year. You kind of think about it. Nothing. It, it, it just Nothing. Uh, what's going on right now with these biblical wars is, man, it's out of control. I never see anything like this. But, uh, yeah, one thing I tell you guys, look, I stand with the Holy Land, okay? But calm down, calm down. A lot of people just go way too fast here. I don't support the 4-6, and I don't look up to um, Benjamin. Now, listen up. The reason why, listen up. The, re the reason why Benjamin said he don't need Jesus. He don't need him. He doesn't need Jesus. He said that he's a J-E-W-S. So, again, uh, anybody that denies our Lord and Savior like that, uh, I'm not going to be looking up to them person. I will pray for them. I pray that they repent. But even the Pharisees, they say we, we're not, we not going to join Jesus. So, we are seeing right now some uh, great transformation happening here. And uh, we also seen that uh, Mr. Burns, he was celebrating the abomination. Yeah! He was going wild and giving a speech and all that. And uh, it, it just, it goes to tell you who his God truly is. <laughs> so that's where we at right now, guys. And um, anybody could say I'm a Christian, but are you truly a Christian? That's a big question there. So guys, we're gonna see what's going on in this breaking news. This is uh, this is this is coming out right now. If you can, please share this video. Uh, fire rages on a on in Holy Land settlement in Occupy North. All right. So guys, uh, before I start, if you can, please share this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. And again, I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through Patreon, PayPal, Super Thanks, or the Super Chat. Thank you so much. Your support truly really helps out. If you guys want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. I have good news. My wife, grandmother, came today. She's resting right now. Um, she Again, uh, we had to set up the oxygen tank, and there was this big machine that uh, I had to connect uh, right next to her bed and uh, set up the the toilet and all that and uh she's 95 almost yeah 95 years old her, her name is dorothy she's staying with us we're gonna take care of her and uh, it's gonna be a lot of work guys so uh again I've been, i haven't been posting a lot of videos so you know scripture says that our parents take care of us but when they get old it's us the children take care of the parents sometimes you know children just want to put parents in a nursing you know what and we don't believe in that we don't we don't believe in that. So, again, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for the GoFundMe. You guys made it happen. Thank you so much for the prayer. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the love and support. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. 
All right, so you have a fire continue to rage on in several sites across the Holy Land, Occupy Northern Territories, following an intense day of confrontations. Now, I've been missing all these breaking news. Like I said, I've been busy, but I heard something about was it Lebanon, you know what, non? They dropped the, I mean, they just hit the Holy Land. I don't know which sites it was, but man, it was F-I-R-E. And I don't know if this is a story here. I don't know if this is the one, but uh, it was yesterday. There was a great blaze. I'm like, man, is that the Holy Land? They got hit. So the Holy Land news website uh, reported on the unfolding events that have forced authority to evacuate the settlements in this region, the Panhandle, including including the largest settlement in the area. Large numbers of firefighters were called to the scenes of the fires, which spread to northern parts of that region and impacting dangerously close to housing units. Man. Residents in the settlements in Magaliant were told to evacuate to get out of Dodge as the uncontrollable blazes rapidly spread across the wilderness. Wow! Um, local authorities in this region are visiting settlers house by house, ordering occupiers to Man, this is some serious stuff. Ooh! Um, see, I am I mentioned Leban. Uh, is this the one? I seen something. Yet. Hold on, give me a second. I did. I think I shared it yesterday. I think I shared it yesterday. Give me a second here. Let me see if I can find it. Give me one second here, guys. Oh, is this the one? It's. It seems like this is the one. It seems like this here is the one. See, I shared this. I I shared this yesterday. June 22nd, June 2nd, excuse me, guys. This is absolutely unreal. What do you expect the Holy Land to respond to be after Hellsboat launched dozens of rockets against Holy Land site hours ago? Was this, was this Hellsboat? Did they, uh, again, are they the one that uh, responsible for this? Are they the one responsible for this one? Northern Holy Land settlements are still on, you know what, as a result of bombardment by... Wow. Whoa. So, so they knew where to strike. They knew where to strike. They knew that this region, this region here was really, really dry. And this thing was going to be on blaze for several days. And that's what's going on. So everybody being told to get out of Dodge. Whoever uh, made this... Uh, Gave the green light. This person knew what they were doing. Wow. At around 8 p.m. local time, authorities informed the news outlets that the fire has spread to the northern part of the occupation city of this region. While uh, fire crew and settlers fought the high flames encircling in the settlement. In the Occupy, you know what? I'm going to skip those names. 15 fire hotspots have been reported as enduring blazes spurred by particularly high temperatures continue to plague uh, outposts. So those regions are really, really getting it. Wow. All right, hold on. I got some more information here. Um, I'm going to skip some of these names here, guys. So you have those regions. Um, a fire also erupted in those regions, too. As a result of the raging fires, the Holy Land authorities blocked the main road, linking the north to the rest of the Holy Land occupied territory. Hopefully, they didn't block it for, for innocence. So once again, the events were also recorded in man look at this all this territory one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven in the western of this region also you have another one uh, a member of the local council complained about the situation saying we are here alone and the fire has taken hold 
of the of this region avocado orchard and is uh, threatening to burn down oh look at this that facility The rift grows between the Holy Land and local authorities, Central Gov. So once again, the ever-growing rift between the heads of the North and Holy Land settlement and the Holy Land leaders is still worsening, especially in light of the fires that have ravaged Northern Occupied Palace after a heavy bombardment from Leb. According to this person, a concurrent respondent in the north, there is a very severe event between local authorities, leaders, and officials. Whether in the northern command or among decision makers and the Ministry of Security, noting that there is a very large rift. We are enveloped in a dense cloud of smoke following the strike yesterday in the Ramen Ridge. The entire uh, forest have been impacted. Mm. And once again, this person said of the ongoing fires in the north. This situation has exacerbated the existing tensions between regional leaders and defense officials, complicating efforts to man manage the event and protect the affected communities. Man. Man, this is this is biblical war. The stuff going on in that region, the stuff going on in a in a red hot sea. You guys know about the MQ9 Reaper. I mean, they're getting impacted. Um, also, the Eisenhower. You guys know that ship, the Eisenhower. That's getting. I mean, pff. supposedly that thing got hit really hard. But uh, again, guys, we're not getting a lot of info on that one. But I'm gonna spell the country name here because the platform is straight. Y E M E N, they are doing some stuff out there. They are really, really striking the sleeping giant in the red hot sea. All right, it seems like this might be all the information for this one, but give me a second here, guys. I want to double check something here. I want to check something here before I end it. Usually at the very end, there's always something that pops up. Hmm. Alright, so it seems like this is all the information here. Give me a second, guys. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I, I want to bring this one up really quick. The large brush fires are continuing to impact across at least nine districts of North and Holy Land, where actually it's 11, if I'm not mistaken, with uh, several areas near the city have been impacted. Wow. Once again, situation is really hot right now. And majority of these fires are the result. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So from the yesterday event, uh, the drone strike today also and launched by Hell's Bowl in Southern Lab. Wow. Wow. And it is a state of emergency. They're telling people to get out of Dodge. If they're saying this, guys, it's because this thing is going to be spreading. Um, we are praying for a lot of people out there. We are. And uh, like I said, whoever gave the green light, they knew what they were doing about that region. They knew that region was dry and that thing was going to lit up uh, on FIRE. So I would keep it updated on this one. Once again, North and Holy Land has declared a state of emergency. This thing is really, really getting hot. And these biblical wars are rising in different parts of the world. And we are seeing it, we are living it, and we are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I got some more videos coming up. Make sure you check out the videos I posted today. Those links will be in the comments box. And before y'all leave, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It truly helps out. It sends a signal to YouTube, and YouTube will see that. 
The more likes, the more they share my videos. The less like, eh, you guys already know the rest. They put it under the rug. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.